To take the derivative of something like x to the x, we can use a technique called logarithmic differentiation. We begin with the equation for y that we know. y is x to the power of x. But to turn this troublesome exponentiation into multiplication, we can take the log of both sides. So we'll take the log on the left, giving us log y, and we'll take the log on the right, giving us log x to the x. Now, when we have an exponent inside a log, we can bring it out as a factor. Thus, we have log y equals x ln x. At this point, we can use implicit differentiation, taking the derivative on the left and the right, and then solving for dy dx. Link in the description to my lesson introducing implicit differentiation if you need to review. So, on the left, the derivative of log y is 1 over y, but then we have to multiply by dy dx as well. On the right, the derivative of x ln x, we find that with the product rule, f prime g plus g prime f. That's going to be log x plus x times 1 over x. This, of course, is log x plus 1, because x times 1 over x is just 1. One. Now, what we have is that 1 over y dy dx equals ln x plus 1. So, let's multiply both sides by y to solve for dy dx. Then we have that dy dx equals y multiplied by log x plus 1. But, of course, y, we know, is x to the x. So, dy dx equals x to the x times ln x plus 1, which we may prefer to distribute and finally write as x to the x ln x plus x to the x. And that's how we take the derivative of x to the x. We use logarithmic differentiation and find that the derivative is x to the x times ln x plus x to the x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Also, consider supporting Wrath of Math by becoming a channel member. You'll also gain access to additional exclusive calculus content. Thanks for watching.